From Isaiah, to Joseph, to Matthew, we can see the unfolding of true faith. Romans 8, verse 28. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God. To them, who are the called, according to his purpose. Isaiah prophesies the coming of Jesus. Isaiah was a prophet who lived in Jerusalem in the 8th century BC. It is believed he was the nephew of King Amaziah, king of Judah. Isaiah was called to serve God when he was just a teenager. Isaiah foretold the birth of Jesus Christ. His predictions were made 700 years before Jesus' birth, which is why they are considered miraculous. Isaiah 7, verses 13 through 15. New International Version. Then Isaiah said, Hear now, you house of David. Is it not enough to try the patience of humans? Will you try the patience of my God also? Therefore the Lord himself will give you a sign. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son, and will call him Emmanuel. He will be eating curds and honey when he knows enough to reject the wrong and choose the right. Isaiah's profound message told all, that God would come to be with his people on earth. The meaning of the name, Emmanuel, is, God, with us. Also knowing that God would be coming in human form, Emmanuel, or Jesus, as he is to be named. We'll know the difference between right and wrong while he is still a baby. Matthew declares the fulfillment of Scripture. Matthew testifies to the fulfillment of the prophet's vision in his Gospel, telling us of the circumstances surrounding the virgin birth, and Joseph's actions realizing Mary is pregnant. Matthew 1, verses 18 through 25, New International Version. Joseph accepts Jesus as his son. This is how the birth of Jesus, the Messiah, came about. His mother Mary was pledged to be married to Joseph, but before they came together. She was found to be pregnant through the Holy Spirit. Because Joseph, her husband, was faithful to the law. And yet did not want to expose her to public disgrace. He had in mind to divorce her quietly. But after he had considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife. Because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus. Because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son. And they will call him Emmanuel, which means, God, with us. When Joseph woke up, he did what the angel of the Lord had commanded him. And took Mary home as his wife. But he did not consummate their marriage until she gave birth to a son and he gave him the name Jesus. Three men of incredible faith, trusting in God, handing their lives over, for God's purpose and plan. Isaiah, the prophet. Joseph, stepfather of Jesus. Matthew, apostle of Jesus Christ, who chronicles one of four gospels that will exist throughout eternity. Thank you for watching today, have a blessed week.